Good evening. I'm Dr. Sandra Sharman, Vice President of Academic and Student Affairs at East Georgia State College. I'd like to welcome you to the 2021 Honors Program. I'm State Representative Butch Parrish, and I'm here this evening to present a very special award. Each year, the University System of Georgia selects a student from each of the 26 institutions to receive the Scholar Award. This year's Distinguished Scholar Award goes to Carly Stapleton. Carly Stapleton of Wrightsville, Georgia. Carly is a graduating senior from East Georgia State College. In May, she will receive her Bachelor of Science degree in Biology and her Associate of Science degree in Biology and Chemistry. While at East Georgia, Carly was selected to participate in the Corell Scholars Program. She's a member of the Tri Beta Biology Honor Society and the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Carly also participated in East Georgia State College's undergraduate research program. In recognition of Carly's outstanding academic achievements, it's my pleasure this evening to present to her a resolution from the Georgia State House of Representatives. Now, on behalf of Senator Max Burns and Senator Billy Hickman, I would also like to present Carly with a resolution from the Georgia Senate. And finally, a letter from the University System of Georgia congratulating Carly on receiving the Scholar Award for East Georgia State College. Carly, we are proud of you and your accomplishments. We congratulate you and wish you the best as you proceed to the next phase of your education and wish you many successes in your future career. I will now introduce the Dean's List. These are students who have maintained between a 3.0 and a 3.75 GPA for two of the three semesters in the academic year. Anita Achara, Shasid Avia Perez, Caroline Brantley, Anita Serpovitz, Ross Cruz, Christina Daniel, Kayla Garrett, Erica McLeod, Faith Miners, Noah Montgomery, Cornelius Miles, Hannah Oglesby, Abigail Oliver, Meet Patel, Jenna Robertson, Dustin Rogers, Stephanie Ruffin, Logan Stanfield, Caitlin Stone, Elizabeth Strickland, Brianka Williams. I will now read the President's List. These are students who have maintained a 3.75 to a 4.0 for two of the three semesters in the academic year. Congratulations. Nicholas Ballin, Dominic Barrow, Griffin Bell, Mary Ruth Berry, Christina Blissett, Asia Bonham, Brooklyn Brisley, Taylor Brown, Peter Burris, Trevor Bird, Brianna Church, Carrie Close, Jada Derisaw, Driston Driggers, Satali Escamilla, Hannah Forehand, Madison Franklin, Noah Fritz, James Gaston, Trent Harris, Desmond Heath, Haley Hutchison, Brittany Engel, Kristen Ingram, Charlesy Kelly, Jalen Kelly, 
Teronica Kelsey, Brady Kicklider, Olivia Laird, Amy Lane, Carter Lastinger, Catherine Leach, Elizabeth Loftus, Caleb Metters, Luis Mejia, Tia Mercer, Kalisha Owens, Ansley Paget, Tanner Peebles, Allison Pittman, Leanna Poss, Jeffrey Potter, Madison Richardson, Maribel Sanchez, Kylie Schlein, Hallie Spikes, Haley Stevens, Jitsi Stevens, Elena Strange, Bailey Strange, Shannon Strom, Ansley Sullivan, Benjamin Sikowski, Lindsay Thompson, William Townsend, Caitlin Waters, Emma Waters, Wilhelmina Watkins, Madison Williams, Summer Williams, Dylan Womack, Charles Wren. Hello everybody, my name is John Cadle. I'm an Associate Professor of Biology here at East Georgia. And I'm here to present the George Marvin Baker Award in Biology, which is named in honor of one of the founding faculty members of East Georgia College. And it's given annually to a student who's shown outstanding ability and also proficiency in biological sciences. And it's always given to someone who's working toward or has just received a bachelor's degree in biology. This year's award goes to a very uh, honored candidate. It's Seth C. Love. Uh, he's been with us since fall of 2017 and he's progressed through the entire biology program with uh, outstanding success. This is a pretty rigorous program in the sciences. It includes not only biology but chemistry and lots of math and Seth has excelled in all of these. Uh, Seth uh, is a student who's headed toward uh, a profession in a medical field. I don't think he's quite decided yet what it's going to be, but he'll be well prepared for whatever uh, uh, kind of profession he decides to pursue. He ended up at East Georgia in December, graduating with a 3.8 grade point average, and we're very proud to present this George Marvin Baker Award to Seth Love this year. Congratulations, Seth. My name is Beverly Walker, and I am the director of the Fire and Emergency Services Administration degree program at East Georgia State College. I'm presenting tonight the, the award for the bachelor's degree in Fire and Emergency Services Administration. This degree goes to Corey West. Corey came to us in uh, fall of 2017. He transferred some courses in, but he was uh, working on his associate's degree. And he um, got his associate's degree in spring of 2019. And he decided he wanted to go ahead and get his bachelor's degree as well. Uh, Corey, had, he is scheduled to graduate in fall of 2021. Corey is another one of those students that has done exceptional work and is such an outstanding student. His institutional GPA at this time is a 4.0. His overall GPA is a 3.85. Corey is a full-time employee with the City of Winder Fire Department in Barrow County, Georgia. Uh, Corey, while, in, uh, while he was in the program, Corey was promoted to the driver in his department. And so we're really proud of Corey and his work in this program. Program. And again, congratulations. I'm Dr. Linda Upchurch, and I'm the Director of Nursing here at East Georgia State College. 
We have an RN to BSN bridge program designed for nurses who already have an associate degree and they're working and they want to return to school to get their bachelor's degree. I wish that I could award this honor to each and every one of our students because they've all been working on the front line over the last year and have done a tremendous job in such a trying situation with COVID-19. However, we had to choose just one and so we selected Shannon Hart as the recipient this year. Shannon is a nurse working in cardiac and pulmonary rehab and I know that she is a tremendous blessing to all of her patients and families who she provides care for. So congratulations, Shannon. Good evening, I'm Desmond Purcell, the Associate Professor of Art here at East Georgia State College. Tonight I'm here to present the Outstanding Achievement Art Award. This year's award goes to Brian Martinez. Brian Martinez was an excellent student in our arts program here at East Georgia State College. He tended to make an impression with the works that he made during his time here at East Georgia. Looking back, Brian made some impressionable pieces here during his time at East Georgia State College. I can remember a photo that he did for a photo exhibition to raise awareness for our local Humane Society. Brian's print wasn't 16 by 20, it wasn't 20 by 24, it was four foot by eight foot in size. The same for his exit show, when Brian was working on a drawing of a paper crane, the crane itself measured in at about two inches cubed. Brian's drawing of the crane measured four by four. This was also the case when it came to Brian's boomerangs for the three-dimensional design course. Brian wanted to set a record for throws over the pond. It's always a challenge to the students to test their confidence in design by throwing their boomerangs over Ezra Pond. This is by no means a requirement, but students like to show off their skill, their designs, and their success by achieving this challenge. Brian threw it over the pond and caught it not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, not five times, but eight successful throws and catches over Ezra Pond. Needless to say, he will be remembered for this new record. The same could be said for the size of his boomerangs. A standard boomerang wasn't enough for Brian Martinez. No, Brian had to go big. He wanted to complete a mega ring like no other student had done before at East Georgia State College. His mega ring measured with two arms, each three foot in length. And not only did the mega ring look good, it also flew great. I tell you what, it was something else to see that boomerang soar over Ezra Pond and then return to Brian. This is not one we caught, this is a boomerang we dodged. Congratulations, Brian, I'm proud of you. I know you'll go on to do great things. Good evening, I'm Natasha Goss, Associate Professor of Accounting and Business here at East Georgia State College. It is a great honor to present the award tonight for Business Administration to Mr. Will Donaldson. Mr. Donaldson is an outstanding, hardworking student who has maintained an excellent grade point average while being a dual enrollment student both his junior and senior year. Mr. Donaldson plans to continue his studies at a larger university and complete his bachelor's degree in management. Hello, my name is Paul Sapovitz. I am a professor of chemistry here at East Georgia State College on the Swainsboro campus. It is my honor to present this year's Chemistry Achievement Award to Jelani Shabani. She is a uh, biology major, uh, associate's degree, pursuing an associate's degree in biology, and she has excelled in chemistry one, chemistry two, organic chemistry one, and currently in organic chemistry two. She's doing really, really well. Um, she is an extremely dedicated student who has uh, goals of becoming a pharmacist, and she has. Um, uh, just excelled in everything that related to chemistry and biology and other classes too. She is a very well-rounded student. She has, uh, she answers questions, she uh, asks questions, and her dedication really shows because she is really on our Statesboro campus, which is about an hour away, and she commutes up here to uh, Swainsboro to take these chemistry courses that she needs. So. Um, I, I wish her luck in the future, and I'm sure she'll be an excellent pharmacist. Hi, I'm Dr. Brittany Strickland. I'm the Assistant Professor of Criminal Justice here at East Georgia State College Swainsboro location. This year, I am awarding the Criminal Justice Award to Alexander Archie. Alexander, you have exemplified what students should be. You have the highest average in all of your criminal justice classes. You have also shown great character and kindness 
inside and outside of the classroom. I'm so glad to have you as our president for Criminal Justice Club and you have helped me to kickstart a lot of activities. I'm so glad that you are one of my majors. Congratulations. I'm Dr. Armand Boudreaux and I'm the English Discipline Coordinator here at East Georgia. Each year, the English faculty recognize a student who has excelled in composition and literature classes. This will be a student who has uh, done outstanding work in writing and in the study of literature. This year, we've chosen Zachary Mayo for the English Department Award because Zach has done outstanding work in writing and in the study of literature, and he comes highly recommended by several of the English faculty members. Congratulations, Zach. My name is Beverly Walker and I am the director of the Fire and Emergency Services Administration degree program at East Georgia State College. Um, tonight I, it's my pleasure to uh, present this award to Matthew Reagan. Uh, Matt Reagan is one of our uh, students in the um, associate degree program. Uh, Matt came to East Georgia State College in fall of 2006 and was here a couple of semesters. Then he got started on his career. Matt is presently a firefighter with the city of Adalia. He came back to East Georgia State in uh, fall of 2019 and he is set to graduate this summer with his associate's degree in fire and emergency services administration. Uh, while here at East Georgia State College, Matt has maintained an exceptional work record and he has presently is holding a 3.73 grade point average. Uh, Matt is a pleasure to have as a student, so congratulations. I'm Courtney Joyner, Associate Professor of History at East Georgia State College and I'm given the History Award this year. I find when I tell people what I teach that they usually share with me whether or not they loved history in school or hated history in school. Caroline Kitchens admitted that she dreaded taking history. She took two U.S. history courses and a CATS course focused on presidential assassinations in U.S. history. And she admits by the end of it all, she came to have an appreciation for history. Her work was excellent all the time. She never missed assignments. She was never late with an assignment. But it was the quality of work that made her stand out. It was always very well written. It always showed depth of thought and an understanding of the cause-effect relationships of history. It always showed where she was trying to connect historical events with today's events. And it was always excellent. For these reasons, Caroline Kitchens gets the History Award for this year. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Dr. Damon Andrews, Mathematics Department Chair here, here at East Georgia State College. On behalf of the Mathematics Department, it is my honor to announce that this year's Mathematics Award goes to John Gibson Drew. Please join us in congratulating John on this great accomplishment. Hello, my name is Darlene Dickens. I'm an Assistant Professor of Biology at East Georgia State College. It is my pleasure to announce the winner selected by faculty at East Georgia in the Math Science Department of the Nursing Transfer Pathway. We have awarded this to several students over the last few years and this year the student that is receiving the award has a 4.0 average taking extremely difficult classes anatomy and physiology microbiology and also chemistry classes she has maintained a 4.0 average she comes to us from Trutland County and at this time I present the award to Madison Richardson Hello, I'm Dr. Lee Cheek, Professor of Political Science at East Georgia State College. And welcome to this ceremony and uh, the kind and thoughtful congratulations to all of you on behalf of the Political Science Program here at the college. Tonight, my responsibility is to confer upon a very deserving individual our Political Science Award for this academic year. This award is given to an outstanding student who has performed uh, in a superlative manner in his political science classes. And this is a very high honor. After all, uh, Aristotle said that politics was the master science, so if you do well in political science, you should do well in life and all other things. And this year's award winner of the Political Science Award is William Donaldson. Congratulation, congratulations, William, and may you use these skills to benefit humanity and the world around you. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Eric McCombie. I'm the head baseball coach here at East Georgia State College. I'm presenting the award, the academic award for baseball to Brandon Bloom. He's a three-year sophomore here, uh, decided to come back after last year's COVID year. Uh, he has a 3.44 GPA. He's a team captain, starting pitcher on the baseball team. As of right now, he has a few offers to go on and play baseball at a four-year school next year, has not made his decision yet. Um, but he's a great person, great student, and uh, the epitome of, of what East Georgia State College baseball is. Good afternoon, my name is Travis Garrett and I'm the head men's basketball coach here at East Georgia State College. And um, I wanna talk about Preston Chris, 6'5 um, sophomore guard out of Savannah, Georgia. A uh, phenomenal student as well as a very good basketball player and it's been a pleasure to coach him this year in a short period of time. And I want to acknowledge him for the academic award here at East Georgia State College. Hey Bobcat Nation, I'm Charles Wembley, Athletic Director and Head Softball Coach at East Georgia State College. I would like to congratulate uh, Taylor Elliott uh, off the softball program at East Georgia State College for maintaining a 3.9 grade point average over the last two years. Congratulations Taylor and to all the Bobcats. Hello, I'm Theo Howard, the head women's basketball coach here at East Georgia State College. Uh, I have the, the, the honor of acknowledging two of our outstanding academic achievers, uh, but I'd like to focus on one, and her name is Esperanza Castro. Esperanza has been a phenomenal leader, both on and off the court for the women's basketball team. Uh, she's an emotional leader. Uh, she shows and displays what accountability is all about. Uh, and she displays a zest for achieving academically uh, in the classroom to the rest of her teammates. And I'd like to applaud her for that. So I'd like to award Esperanza Castro. The second person that I'd like to acknowledge is Kayla Garrett. Kayla Garrett is an outstanding young lady who, who as of recently has taken several uh, trips to visit other schools. Uh, she's been heavily recruited uh, as a basketball player uh, to continue at some four-year institutions. And some of the reports I've received indicate that Kayla is one of the brightest uh, and, and most well-directed young ladies that they've uh, recruited so far uh, at one institution. She even met with the president of the institution and he called personally to talk about uh, how well-spoken she was and how she represented East Georgia in a strong fashion. And so our second award recipient is Kayla Garrett. Hello, my name is Andre Drummer and I am the director of the African American Male Initiative here at East Georgia State College. It is my honor and privilege today to be presenting this award. We call it the Master Drivers Award. We have a slogan here at East Georgia for our AMI program and it's We Drive. Drive stands for dedication, respect, inspiration, vigilance, vigilance and excellence. And Mr. Brandon Moore is the master driver for this year. He exudes all of those all of those accolades, if we can call those accolades. Brandon Moore, we salute you and we thank you for all of your dedication to East Georgia and especially to AAMI. You are an AAMI master driver and we appreciate everything that you have done and is going to do. Thank you. Hello. I'm Sarah Young, processor in the records office, VA school certifying official, and the club advisor of African American Union, where we are lit while learning, educating, empowering, and enhancing the African American history and culture. The recipient for this year's award has portrayed dynamic leadership skills and took initiative. He's excelled academically in the classroom as well as our club. He is a student leader and very involved, and I'm so proud that I had the pleasure of him being my vice president of our club last year. Congratulations, Mr. Andrew Tobias Lester. Hello, I am Donna Freeman. I am the Human Resources Coordinator too, as well as the advisor for the Baptist Collegiate Ministries, or BCM, here at East Georgia State College. Tonight, we recognize an EGSC student who possesses the leadership and qualities of the BCM. I am proud to present the award to the president of BCM, Christian Bird. We thank him for being the leader that others can depend on as well as look up to. Thank you.
And the next award I'd like to present is a club award. Um, I'm also advisor to several student clubs, uh, the STEM club, the beekeeping club, and also the Circle K club. And Circle K, this, this award is primarily for the Circle K uh, club member. And it is a, um, uh, well Circle K first off is a uh, student club that's an offshoot of the Kiwanis Club. And its goal is to promote community service, um, particularly around children. And we do a lot of community work and in schools and the local area. And this award is going to go to the club president, Anita Sapovitz. So Anita has been instrumental in keeping this club afloat during the past year because the pandemic has really kind of uh, influenced club activity. But Anita's been really great at keeping this club uh, active. And in addition, Anita's also part of the STEM club and the beekeeping club. So she's involved in all three of these clubs. So um, she's been instrumental, like I say, in keeping all these clubs going. For example, last fall, Anita organized a um, hurricane relief car wash to benefit uh, victims of the hurricane in Texas and elsewhere in the country. And we did a, she organized a socially distant masked car wash that was very successful. And she's also been uh, instrumental in installing honeybees, doing, we're setting up uh, packages uh, gift bags for kids to give out at a, a festival, upcoming festival. So um, I think Anita is very deserving of this award and uh, I thank her for all of her help this year. Hi, my name is Princess Middleton and I am the director of the newly formed group Rhythm Nation Dance Team as well as the Housing Safety Assistant in West Dormitory. This year we would like to give this award to Miss Alexis Lundy. She's hardworking, very inspirational, well known and well like and she's a very hard worker i met her before she even came to east georgia but like i said i would like to congratulate miss alexis lundy thank you good evening my name is stacy grant and i am the director of student life here at east georgia state college tonight i will be announcing our student government association recipient this student has been very active on campus and very involved with her leadership she has been involved in the campus community as well as our outside community. She has been the voice for the student body and she has made an impact on all three campuses. Tonight, we're happy to announce our Student Government Association Award recipient, Ms. Precious Coleman. Our next recipient for our ambassador is a gentleman who has been very involved on campus, especially during COVID-19. This student has been able to get our students involved and come up with innovative ways to um, be able to have a voice on campus and to serve on campus during COVID-19. Please help me welcome and thank Sanjay Narse. Our next recipient for our international club is for a student who has been very active on campus with being able to provide different cultural options for our students. This student has come up with different programs to let our students see different sides of the world. Please help me welcome and thank Elijah Worthen. Uh, I'm Christian Krauss. I'm Assistant Professor of Literature and Composition here in the School of Humanities and Social Sciences. Uh, and I'll be presenting the awards for the Wiregrass Literary Magazine and the Hoopy Bird School newspaper. Uh, the Wiregrass, the Literary and Creative Arts Journal for East Georgia State College, made its first appearance in 1973, back when the school was known as Emanuel County Junior College. Since then, the journal has been a showcase for students, faculty, and staff to express themselves through their poetry, prose, and artwork. A lot of work goes into putting the publication together each year, and for her work as student editor on this year's publication, I would like to give the Wiregrass Award to Rebecca Farron. The Hoopy Bird Student Newspaper for East Georgia State College affords students the opportunity to hone their editing and writing skills while also learning about the print publishing business. Uh, this year, for their work as reporters and student editors, I would like to give the Hoopy Bird Award to Hunter Carter and Kelly Clemens. My name is Angela Stork and I'm the Director of Housing at East Georgia State College. And today I have the privilege 
of presenting this award on behalf of the former RHA advisor, Coleman Bailey, as well as members of the RHA. As a member of the Residence Hall Association, the recipient of this award went above and beyond to assist with programming, events, and activities, and was an active advocate for the needs of his fellow residents. He also serves as a resident assistant for housing and can always be counted on to volunteer during times of need and enjoys being of service to others. Because of his exceptional contributions, we have selected Jaden Thomas as the recipient of the RHA Student Leadership Award. Good evening, Bobcats. My name is Tierra Williams. I'm the Assistant Director of Housing at East Georgia State College. And I'm here to honor one of the outstanding members of EGSC's Women's Group, Unity. She is no stranger. She has provided perfect leadership throughout this semester. Introducing to some and to others, Kiasha Adams, thank you for being a valuable member to Unity, and I wish you the best on your future endeavors. Hello, I'm Dawn Carty, Interim President at East Georgia State College. In closing, thank you for taking the time from your busy schedule to join us virtually for our 2021 Honors Night program. On behalf of the faculty and staff, I congratulate our amazing students who have been recognized for their collegiate academic achievements. Through your continued hard work and persistence, I am confident that you will reach your goals for a successful future. I also want to express my appreciation to our devoted faculty and staff for their part in your educational journey. Our mission means that they will never stop believing in you. And finally, to all of our student body, I am excited that you are attending East Georgia State College and hope you are inspired by the students who are recognized tonight. Every student here has the potential to excel academically, and we encourage you to engage and make the most of this time. Committing to a college degree is demanding, but it's also a wonderful time of learning, meeting people who will become lifelong friends, and experiencing new adventures. That is what we want for you. Thank you again for joining us and celebrating our great students. We appreciate your support and hope to see you in person soon.